Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rix the Queen. You are watching a whole nother video by me, Rix! Hello everyone, how is everyone doing today? As you guys have seen the title, yes, it is a review on Selena Plus the Chef, and we're seeing and reviewing and hearing ice cream when it comes out. Right now in California, oh, I got an alarm, 10 minutes till ice cream. We are at 9.50, it's like 9.50 right now. I'm not lying. We're going to listen to it live. I'm listening to Boyfriend. I'm listening to Boyfriend by Ariana Not Ariana Grande. Oh my God. I'm so dumb. I'm listening to Boyfriend by Selena Gomez right now. Right before I film, listen. I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm going to talk about Selena Plus the Chef. And we're going to listen to Ice Cream with Selena Gomez and Black <laughs> You guys are gonna, well, you guys are gonna hear a little sneak peek, baby, but I'm gonna, I can't get copyrighted already, girl. So I just have a little, just a little bit of ice cream in here, like little snake pits, but girl, I'll be like, oh, 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 oh. but queens, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Today is a positivity day. What day is it? Today is a Saturday. It is the last, um, I think the last day of August. Oh my God. Happy Saturday. Girls, I'm a mess. I have an extra little light to give me some light right here. I got the big old light right here. I got that light. I got that light. I got that light. And I got this light right here because I'm a shining star. Oh my God, I'm too. I am too much. I am too much. Sometimes I'm just like, honey, I am too much. I am too much. I am too much. I am too much. I'm the equivalent of too much. I'm going to you that. But queens, if you're ready to get into Selena plus the chef review and ice cream listening, review the girls down. I Girlies, you know those beauty gurus have a little intro girl. I don't have an intro, but I should make one. One of those like, oh, 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 I don't need one. My intro is too much already. My intro is too much already. But queens, I'm talking about Selena plus the chef while doing my makeup. First, y'all already know. Y'all already know. You got to prime, honey. You got to always prime. I always love to prime. And yes, let's talk about Selena plus chef. Everyone's like, okay, what the heck is Selena plus the chef, honey? Well, let me tell you what Selena plus the chef is, girl. Okay, queens, I just used some Neutrogena and some milk primer. And queens, they're going to talk about what is Selena plus the chef. Let me explain. So Selena and chef, this Selena Gomez is doing 10 episodes with 10 different chefs. It was iconic. All the chefs were really good. And Selena Gomez loves to cook. And if she wasn't a singer, she would actually be a professional cooking chef. Selena Gomez made this series with HBO Max, and if y'all want to see it, go see it. So, spoilers ahead if y'all don't already, already know. So, let me talk about the first, kind of like, you know, what is it about, and what is the series all about? The series is about Selena Gomez being a better chef during quarantine and lockdown, and she is virtually, like, virtually, like, what is that called? Like, you're virtually, you know, Zooming with the other person, but cooking at the same time, you're virtually chatting and filming something. So the cook is showing Selena what to cook and she got it like all this stuff from the chef. A chef like gives someone to go to the grocery store and pick all this stuff for her and then she go cook it. And then she has her grandma, her pot pot, her, um, what is that? Her two, and her two best friends and her three dogs. And those would be the main people who pop up. I think there was one other person that popped up. And Taylor Swift was like a little like cameo because she saw one of the things. But yes, that's until later on to the video. But girls, that's kind of what it's about. So she's cooking and she's not the best chef, but she's a pretty good chef. And by the end of the series, she does really good. And I have a lot of opinions on my pros and my cons. Y'all already know, Selena Gomez is always a bop. And if ice cream is not a bop today in, oh my God, seven minutes, girls. Ah, it's too much. If ice cream is not a bop. Oh my God, it's <laughs> So that's what this series is about. It was really fun. I heard she announced this on like August, the beginning of August. And then August 13th, it came out with three episodes, a three episode premiere, honey. I was like, whoa, too many episodes, girl. I would have liked her to stagger it out, but I think she's launching ice cream with the end of it. She's also really good. I wish she launched. Album, I, her, I loved Rare. Don't get me wrong, Rare was good. But girl, I want her to launch another album more like a single, two, another album by the end of the year, girl. Anything Selena Gomez makes it, but I need some more songs in my life. I love Rare. I need songs. I need like a hundred songs from her That's just me. I'm just me like that. I need to go with you making me bop every five seconds, girl. Cause I need, I need to talk about her love life, her rareability, her vulnerability. Ah, oh, when she talks about rare, when she talks about vulnerability and dryness, I just can't take it. I just honestly can't take it. I just, oh, she's the queen of rare, queen of vulnerability, queen of, you know, speaking what's happening in her life. She's the queen of that. And so, let's talk to episode one. Episode one, it starts with a rolling credit. It doesn't start with rolling credits, but it starts with like a little song of Bad Liar, and she's like setting up in the kitchen with her little eyes to only get it together. Probably like maybe a big photo popping up, and she talks about, you know, Selena plus the chef. And the first chef is Ludo, and Ludo is like this um, Italian chef, really famous chef, who has like one of the best recipes. Queens, 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 queens. It is a nice. I am ice cream officially out No, you. Let me try repressing an eyeshadow while we talk about Selena Gomez. 
So she makes the omelet that I already talked about. And it's okay. It's a little burnt, but you know, for the first try, it's an okay omelet. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to start putting on my foundation as, okay. So then old Ludo, she makes this, um, she makes, what is that called? A flan or a, the little things that you make in the cup. And then that girl, girl, Senegal must not do that girl. Girl, 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 Senegal must don't cook a flan or whatever those things. I think they're called flans. No, creme brulee, honey. Creme brulee, creme brulee, creme brulee, creme brulee. Creme brulee, honey. I don't know. It's hard to say. Creme brulee. Like Ben de la Creme, but creme brulee, honey. Creme brulee. Honey. Okay, I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell you about episode one. The girls. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. It wasn't the best of the season. I actually think it was kind of funny because he was yelling at her. And I was like, girl, stop yelling at Senegal Gomez. Ludo, you don't, you're not anywhere near Senegal. Like, don't yell at the supreme, the queen. Y'all, everyone knows. This is a Selena Gomez friendly channel, girl. If you don't have, you have a tip for Selena Gomez, girl, I, like a little, like, oh, I don't like her. I don't know why. Like, what did she do? I don't think she's problematic. She's a queen and she hasn't done anything wrong. It's like, girl, girl, she's an icon. We don't, we only stand Selena Gomez here. We are only stand Selena Gomez, honey. And we are getting rare beauty very soon. I think I'm right there. Ah, rare beauty, girl, the rare beauty. Also, Selena doesn't know. I didn't know about what a convection on an oven is. I'm 13 and I know what a convection is on an oven is, girl. She was 13. It was she was not famous until she was 14, girl. Well, at least 14, girl. So it was like, well, look at that pimple. Whatever this is right here. I don't know if y'all get into this. Whatever this is right here is Ludo yelling like, whoa. And I think in the series I had to put the episodes in order. That would be the second lowest to the bottom. So episode one would be episode nine in order of like worse. Okay, everyone. So the next video, next uh, chef is Antonia Laza or like Linza Langza. I don't know. But um, she did octopus with her and I think she just did the octopus with her. And um, yeah, it was very fun. I liked Antonia. I felt like a fun spirit with her. It was a fun episode because, like, Selena's pot was overflowing and it was all this messiness was happening in that episode. And kind of like the, um, I don't even talk about the creme brulee. She made creme brulee and it was not bad, but in episode, in episode one, the creme brulee was bad and her friends only at the top. But in episode two, um, the friends really liked the octopus. And she was, like, gagging, like, I can't cut the octopus girl. The octopus, a uh, girl, my, I'm not, I'm not, I like sushi and all that. But, like, I'm not, like, a big fan of octopus girl. I don't know. I just, you know, it's just not my for t taste of tea. My sister loves, my dad and my sister love octopus girl. But me and my mom are just like, no. Can we talk about Antonia's kitchen? Oh my God, Antonia had like a really fun kitchen. I was like, yes, Antonia. Oh my God, and Selena's kitchen is beautiful. Um, Before I start my casino, let's just end episode two off. Antonia did a very good job interacting. And I think I would put her episode in the middle, like at five. I would put her episode at five. It was good. It wasn't one of the top tier video episodes. So yeah, so I put her at number five, and um, they liked her food. They ate the octopus. I think her grandparents ate the octopus, if I'm not mistaken, and her friends. You know, I really did like the episode, and I think this episode was gaining, you know, a lot more speed for the show. Queens, it's time to talk about episode three with Selena and plus Chef, and then after this, concealer job, and both my eyes all after it. No, after video episode five, we'll listen to ice cream. I'm sure doesn't ask at the end, girl. I think we'll do a live reaction to ice cream. I wanted to listen to ice cream. I can't take it. So we're going to listen to ice cream after this. But episode three, we had um, Candice Kumai or Kumamar or Kumai. I was like Kuma, Kumi, Kumai or I think it was Candice Kumai. And I really, I didn't think this episode was bad. It just, you know, it didn't go in the middle. So this episode, she made a noodles and some, what is this called? Matcha cookies. And Selena made did really good this episode besides the not she didn't do amazing let's just make that let me make that clear girl selena did a very good job for her first time making like professional ramen which is not hard to do because make it pasta but the girl um you know she did a good job with this episode i think the chef was talented the house she was a very pretty chef um she has a new boyfriend so yes i don't know if she's still dating that boyfriend but yeah she got a new boyfriend from that episode selena gomez was like yes new boyfriend um, I think this is when she launched her rare deluxe album, which you guys know I streamed the house. We streamed that album. We know what if you haven't streamed that deluxe album from Rare Girl, what are you doing? 
we have a little bit of days left of quarantine if you haven't started school yet or you haven't started your work yet or your work is still closed or you know the girls we still have a couple episodes left of quarantine so go, what, what, you go stream the rare beauty girl so moral of that episode it wasn't boring was it a flop or bop i'm gonna put that episode as number what ludo's at number nine i'm gonna put this episode maybe at number seven yeah i'm gonna put it at number seven and because it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. It's like good and bad. So it was like not in the middle, but it's like, okay, it's a little worse than good. So yes, it's not technically in the middle, but it's not technically the lowest of the episodes. Episode four was with Roy Choi, a famous, like, he has like a famous, like, what is that called? A famous restaurant. A famous restaurant, but like, you know, in a truck, or in a car. So like, what is it called? The, um... It was called food trucks. So I can't believe I can remember it. A food truck, and it's like a BBQ place, and it is everything. I've never tried it, but everyone always says it's so good. And I, I've heard of Roy Choi's name somewhere. I don't know where though. I've heard of it. Maybe I'm Master Chef girl. Oh, maybe I'm Master Chef. But girlies, 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 girlies. A Master Chef. I heard of it. And this episode, he had uh, her make BBQ breakfast tacos, Hawaiian. Mall does. What are those? They're like Hawaiian. I think don't. Was it that donut episode? Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. But it was like. Yeah, like it's called Maldos. Maldodos. Maldadas. I don't know what they're called. But they're a Hawaiian dish. And Roy Cho- Choi made. Choi made. And it was iconic. Everyone have a new powder technique and just kind of like veil it over the skin because I want still stay luminous and I feel like I don't want like a fully matte face. I'm just going to make it stay luminous and I do creams now. I'm using, I'm starting to learn a new technique. I don't use creams all the time. I don't think I'm going to use a cream today, but I'm just trying to learn some new stuff. But yes, she makes the BBQ tacos, which the grandparents like and they really love the Hawaiian mall does, as she said. Episode four, I think, would go into the four category. I really did like episode four, and they gave me a new recipe for those like little donuts, and I was like, ooh, kind of good, kind of fresh, kind of nice, kind of good, kind of good, kind of good. So yes, yeah, so it goes into episode four. That's a lot. Episode four it goes into like you know out of the ten, it goes into four. I'm gonna blend my contour out, but let's talk about episode five. Episode five had John and Vidi, the two best friends, and they have this restaurant. And, yes, it's very iconic, I guess. I hear that they have, um, you know, a BFF behind the restaurant. They um, have Selena Gomez making a roasted chicken. What is that called? I can't remember. Roasted chicken with cilantro, sauce, and tomato. And a tomato, I think, and they had, it was just like, you know, they made a roasted chicken with, like, you know, the chicken. What's it called? Like, a roasted chicken with cilantro and all that stuff on it. But they also had to make a tomato um, bruschetta appetizer if i'm remembering correctly and also i am looking um i'm just remembering what they're making because girl i don't my phone is dead i can't remember what they're doing and i'm charging it so i have enough power so when we listen to ice cream i can you know listen to it this episode was kind of boring to me i didn't really like the episode you know i didn't have a lot of fun one of them looks like one of them looked like um a YouTuber. Selena made a very a good attempt with the fish tacos and she made the prosciutto pretty good and it was actually a really good episode. Like she didn't do bad this episode. Most of the episodes she did really good but sometimes she had little mistakes like the first episode the creme brulee not cooking all the way through and yes this was a really good episode. I, I'm gonna put this one. Is the bopper flop. This is definitely near the ending so I think I'm gonna put this one at number seven. So that means four, five, six. No that means four, six, seven nine wait what this means no this means four five six seven and nine have been taken up in the five spots so, okay yes let's just yeah let's just make that let's just make that aware okay everyone i just finished my contour i put the cream contour on and then i powdered the cream contour and i did my nose and then i haven't done my brows yet but we're gonna talk about episode six and the sh- magical chef was this lady and her name was, let me just remember her name on the phone. What does it say online again? Miss Nancy Silverton. Let's talk about Miss Nancy Silverton. I had a lot of thoughts about this episode. So this episode was a little bit more crazy. She helps Selena with an ambitious vegetable buffet before Selena and her friends can dig in a stunning multicolor bounty of series of hilarious individual difficulties while Selena brings to the kitchen in his knees. This was the worst episode by far. Not because it was actually a really good episode in the way the, the cooking went, but this girl... This girl, this chef, was not having it. She was not having any fun. She looked at, she was not having any fun with Selena. Selena was house getting burned down. She was, 
girl wasn't having any fun. You can't be a chef, go on national, like, not national television, but, like, a television show. And be, like, like, and she was always, like, giving Selena this weird face, like, Selena, you don't know it? Good. I'm not going to show you. I'm not, literally, I had a lot of feelings about this girl, and I was just like, girl, get into the mode. This is Selena Gomez. This isn't someone you're mentoring. This is a girl you're trying to entertain with, and Selena, this girl was just like, Selena, blah, 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 doing your work. I'm like, girl, calm down. It's a TV show. Let loose and have fun. She was literally in Selena's house getting burned down because she burnt some of the anchovies or whatever, and she's this. <laughs> literally like that the entire time. I was like, if this girl is not making expression, if this girl is not fun, it was the worst episode. It's in number 10. And I want to talk about it because it's so bad, so bad, so boring. And I don't even want to talk about it. It's not worth talking about. It's not worth talking about. The girl, the girl, the girl, the girl was not good. It wasn't good. That's how I feel about that episode. I didn't like the chef. I didn't like the episode. I didn't like how rude she was being to Selena. And I was just like, you know what? This episode 10. Boop, bop, flop. Bam. Queen. Queen. I'm going to do my eyebrow real quick. Um, I don't know. I'm going to just do them real quick off camera. Actually, we'll start them on camera and I'll just finish. I'll just, you know, you know I'll do. I'll just, you know, over, I'll just line them on camera. So, everyone, let's talk about episode seven. Episode seven was part of the new four episode, um, Selena and the Chef and Girl. Episode seven was kind of a bop. Angelo. It was not a, like a full on bop. It was a fun episode. I did like Angelo's spirit. He was having fun. He understood what his job was to do was to have fun. And, you know, I had my conspiracies about him. I was like, really? It's fun. Him and Selena had a lot of fun. They were cooking. What were they cooking? I watched it today. And it's not saying online what they were cooking. But they were cooking. They were having fun. And Queens, I don't know what Triple Angelo did. Because the episode was kind of forgettable. But it wasn't a bop. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, as I'm thinking about it again, that episode was kind of a full, boring episode. So I'm going so down. Sorry, I was going so down. It's kind of a boring episode. I'm just saying it. Chips and guac ain't gonna make a good episode. Like, I just realized the only funny thing there was her knife getting stuck in the avocado thingy. And, girl, I was having a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with their personalities. I would give them a 5 out of 10. Not 5 out of 10. I'll give them an 8 out of 10 for that. But, like, the episode as a whole does not really, you know, captivate me. I was a little sad that this was a first, this was a first episode of the last four parts releasing. So I was just like, are you kidding me? This is what you're going to give us? HBO? I think some of the chefs... I would have liked a Gordon. If she would have opened up or ended with Gordon Ramsay, girl. The viewers! The viewers! The house, girl. The viewers would have been here for the Gordon Ramsay. They would have been here for the entire Gordon Ramsay, girl. They would have been here for a little bit of the Gordon Ramsay. And I'm not mad about it! Do you see me mad about it? No. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad! Girl. Did I say seven? I'm at eight. I'm at eight. Sorry, I'm just gonna snatch my nose a little tinier with my tiny nose. Want the tiny, 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 tiny nose? Okay, everyone. Yes, it is with Tanya Holland, and they made fried chicken. They made fried chicken, and I think that's all they made, right? Fried chicken. I think that's all they made. And she had some really cute restaurant. That was a really cute chicken recipe. No, she didn't just make chicken, right? She made the fish. No, she didn't make. She didn't make the fish. She just made. She no. She made biscuits too. She made fried chicken and biscuits. And I really enjoyed this episode. It's like this was episode three. No. Episode. I really do think this is my favorite episode of the season. Um, I'm going to put some highlighter on. But yeah, I really do feel like this is my favorite episode of the series. They had a lot of fun chemistry together. Selena's chicken looked really good. Selena looked really good for this episode. And I really was like, yes, this was like the best episode of the series. I was like, that was kind of amazing. This episode was really good. I liked episode eight. This is, we're on episode eight, girl. Two episodes left. So there's only, what did I even do a top three? Because it's episode eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I'm just putting in my numbers. It's not the worst episode. It's probably the best episode of the series, episode 8. So I feel I really like Tanya and, you know, their chemistry that they had together. I really thought they had a lot of fun. God, I'm really living. I'm really living. But let's talk about episode 9. The chef was Daniel. Oh, my God. This episode was kind of bad. This episode was like my favorite. I didn't enjoy the episode. 
they made this weird like what is that called? What is that called? Weird meatball, chicken meatball thingy, chicken meatball roll. No, I didn't like the episode. I didn't like Daniel. I don't think Selena, you know, I don't think they really, you know, worked with each other. They didn't really work with each other. And it just felt like, like, no, it was just like a little like, okay, it was a boo episode for episode nine. You know, like the last episode before the finale. I was just like. Really? Really? I was like, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding. My makeup looks really fresh. I look super fresh. I was like, you gotta be kidding. You gotta stop. You gotta you gotta be kidding. For that, the one of the last I'm like, I was just like, um, the girl's gotta be kidding. I was like, the girl's gotta be kidding. You know what I'm doing? I'm just mattifying my face. And then the finale was with Natasha Armington or Arn Arnington Arnington. I love this episode. This was like second best, second best. And I don't know if I did something wrong. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But it was the second best episode. They made dog biscuits, and then Selena made a flaming like a flaming a. Fil a fillet like steak or fillet chicken no a fillet fish she selena was cutting the fish and i really enjoyed this episode a lot of chemistry between selena and the girl and they were talking and they were expressing you know they were just talking it was really good to end to it and liz i mean i'll talk about the friends i'll talk about the friends i'll give a moment to the friends girl oh the mascara was being too much for me it was being too much it was being too much but yes episode 10 was really fun they made the doggy districts they fed the dog selena you know they got her a cake they said goodbye you know they shut it off they said i tried to talk about they were giving every episode they gave a charity ten thousand dollars i can forget about that and so yes they gave it to a lot of there's a lot of different charities it was a beautiful charities they gave it to and yes yeah, so it's really exciting that selena and hbo were able to give a hundred thousand dollars to Ten different. Well, like uh, they put put in a hundred thousand dollars, so ten thousand dollars to each, um, you know, charity. And I think you know, um, no kids hungry. That charity had twenty thousand given to them because two of the same chefs gave it to them. So it was so beautiful. And you know, it's very, you know, it's very, um, you know, it's very good that Selena and HBO are giving out money to charity, especially during this time in this new world. The lashes are on, queens. The lashes are on for this little, you know, this little symmetrical little lady look. Little little girl. The, the little of And queens, the lashes are on. I'm giving you symmetric, big daddy, big, big, big girl lash girl. I'm like, the girl. The girls totally want to be battling me in this look. And I, I'm like, I'm ready for war, baby. I'm like, don't even mess with me. The girls, look at this little lip gloss, honey. Look at this little lip gloss. Yes, I decided to redo the lip gloss, girl. It was ugly in my eyelash. It's still poking me in the eye, girl. But yes, it is time to listen to ice cream. Yes, listen to ice cream, everyone. We're gonna search up Selena Gomez ice cream. Ooh, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> so good but it's the end of the episode everyone so i love you queen so much thank you guys for watching my review with selena plus chef and if you guys already saw please like and subscribe to my channel we're almost in 100 subscribers and i'm like it's gonna help the channel out a lot so yeah everyone if you like my video i love you guys so much i see you guys later bye bye